huku wazazi na wanafunzi wakiendelea na pilka pilka za ufunguzi wa shule wiki hii wanahabari nao walijitwika jukumu la kutembelea shule tofauti nchini ili kuangazia matayarisho yaliyowekwa hasa katika kuzuia msambao wa virusi vya corona shuleni Waziri wa elimu Profesa George Magoha hata hivyo ameonekana kukero na jambo hilo na kuwafokea wanahabari akisema kuwa hawana idhini ya kuingia katika shule yoyote kuangazia hali ilivyo na iwapo wanataka kufanya hivyo basi watatakiwa kupewa idhini na maafisa katika wizara ya elimu. If you want to contextualize what you are reporting start from the beginning to the end. Don't just cut the center which demonizes somebody. Magoha amesema kuwa serikali haina nia ficha ya kuzuia wanahabari kuzuru shule hizo huku kukiwa na madai kuwa baadhi ya shule hazijaweka mikakati mwafaka ya kuzuia msambao wa virusi vya corona. And I think uh, I will hope that uh, it will end there. But like I'm going to go out now to Western Kenya, I will call the press and we shall move with them. We are not hiding anything. We are an open and democratic country. You have all the freedoms. Magoha vile vile ameonekana kukerwa na ripoti zinazotolewa na wanahabari akidai kuwa ripoti hizo ni porojo tu. They, are, they have a tendency of looking for the negatives. Like when, when I said children can learn outside trees, it, it was like we are saying now the government is not going to build classrooms and children can learn outside, outside trees. That was a negative context. Vile vile mkurugenzi mkuu katika tume ya kuajiri walimu nchini TSC amesema kuwa walimu walio zaidi ya miaka hamsini na nane hawajazuiliwa kuenda shuleni akidokeza kuwa iwapo wanahisi wako salama kufunza basi wana haki ya kuendelea kutekeleza majukumu yao. Some teachers actually have opted not to stay at home. They have told us that they have been at home for too long and they, they want to be back in school and working. You can't prevent uh, a teacher who wants to work to work as long as they take care uh, of themselves hata hivyo wanafunzi katika shule ya msingi ya mudhuru hapa jijini Nairobi wamepata afueni kileo baada ya wahisani kuwapa msaada wa barakoa ikizingatiwa kuwa baadhi ya wazazi hawana uwezo wa kuwanunulia bidhaa hiyo kila siku sisi kama wazazi eh, inatuumiza kwamba unajua sasa mtoto inatakiana uangalie sanitizer hata nyumbani unaona Alafu pia kuna hii gharama ya mask na hasa kwa watoto unajua mimi naweza kutumia mask siku kadhaa lakini mtoto ni, ni masaa unaona huyu mtoto anavaa shule gua shule na vitu zingine na hakuna ni vile tu mtu amejifinyia tu amlete na teacher muogee huyo ukileta kitu kidogo kidogo kampuni ya Kings Collection ikishirikiana na shirika la NMS imetoa msaada wa zaidi ya barakoa 1015 ambazo zinatarajiwa kusambazwa kwa shule tofauti hapa jijini Nairobi hasa zilizo katika vitongo jiduni jijini na magundu K24 samoja